Hello, I'm Alexei David, a French engineer in quantitative finance, and today I'm going to talk to you about how to use Excel and C Sharp. Um, the first way of doing it enables us to debug from Excel in C Sharp. Um, I'm using Visual Studio 2010 and a software called Excel W5. You can um, find it here. Uh, you download it, you install it, and um, you open uh, with this way here uh, because anyway you don't have C sharp so you need to do that um, you install it so okay you rename your project okay you rename it also here you open it you open the function uh, you can see that you have this kind of function which uh, enables you to see the function in Excel. You can you can also add some parameters. Yeah. String text and it has to return text you want. Uh, if you compile You can have this error, it's normal. Um, just verify too that your configuration is the same that your Excel one. For me, it's 86, so I launch it again. Okay. You go in debug, and here you have Excel file. You open a new. Excel file, and you can see that you can find your function you created here. So it's working. Now we're gonna try to debug from Excel in C sharp. So you have to create a new text file, uh, name this way .net c dot cs dot user. You change the extension, yes. Uh, you modify it. You pass this text. Be careful that this is your uh, the path of your Excel executive. You save, and now you launch this one. And you can see that when uh, you launch it, it uh, gonna open automatically um, the Excel. Here we go. You just have to launch the uh, previous XLL and now you just have to OK. Hello world. And it's working. To debug, you just have to go um, in Visual Studio. You put a uh, stop and um, when you launch it, you can see that you stop into the code. <sighs> okay, so now we so the first uh, method which enables us to um, debug in Excel, and now we're gonna see how to um, write in Excel from C sharp. To use Excel from C sharp, you first have to add some references. So you go here. In uh, com, you look for Microsoft Excel here. You had it. Uh, you have to add also uh, Microsoft C Sharp here. Now you can copy, uh, for instance, this code, which able you to write in Excel. Um, you can see that you have some trouble here with Excel, so you have to tap in uh, using Excel equal Microsoft 
dot office dot interrupt dot excel and you have some trouble with the message box so you have to go in the references net and uh, system dot windows dot form okay and you also add it in using system dot windows dot form okay and you tap your function here right in Excel okay and um, you launch Excel don't forget to load the XLL and now uh, when you launch hello world it's gonna create your file okay you can close and in my document you can test xls you have here new text um a little tips when you want to add a lot of data uh, from, for instance, a uh, double dimension tab, it's very tempting to do uh, a lot of loop to write in each cell, but you don't have to do that. You just create your double and you define a range which will be equal to um, the double. It's much, much quicker. In the next video, you'll see how to price some option by different ways. Thank you for watching.